G'day guys, today we're going to tackle uh, my 135 formula for goal setting. Now, the reason why this is all created um, is because you look at people's planning ability to achieve a goal and it's terrible. 95% of people fail at their goals purely because they fail to plan. Um, now, quite often when we do plan as well, we have one goal. We look at that one goal as our focus and that's our end state. We don't fill in the bit in between the start and the finish, okay? So the 135 formula starts to give you realistic um, expectations towards your goal and also starts to break down the goal into achievable portions to help get the momentum rolling to then turn into the end state, which is the goal, okay? So finding out where you are now and then finding out where you wanna be, that's only the very first point of goal setting. Uh, most people go that far and that's about it, okay? so. Using the 135 formula, we're going to go through that, uh, breaking it down. Let's say the client's goal is running a marathon. Um, person slightly overweight, wanting to run a marathon, wanted to do it forever, had kids, whatever. They've now got the time, they now want to do it. Okay, so how do we utilize 135 formula to break down into achievable portions? Okay, so the one up here, that's our end state, our goal. Okay, so that's pretty much what we want to achieve. That is, the one is the goal run a marathon, okay? So very first, that is your end state, okay? The next subcategory or subsection is the threes, okay? Pick three elements of achieving that goal that you're going to need to work on to achieve it. Now, for example's sake, we're looking at training, mindset, and nutrition, okay? So training, mindset, nutrition, they're your threes. Now you're starting to break down your uh, goal and you're actually starting to see if whether you're committed or not to really achieving these things because you realize it's not as simple as just getting out there and running. It's actually about breaking this thing down, seeing where your weaknesses are, your shortfalls, and then working on them from there. Now this is even before we've constructed our program to achieve it. So it's not about just going out and bashing the pavement or lifting weights or whatever. Uh, it's about here. Mindset is the key to achieving anything. Okay, so let's say our first three is training, okay? Now these are some rules and guidelines that we put down for ourselves um, to stick by when things get tough, okay? So under our threes, we've got our fives, okay? So you break down each subcategory into focus points. So number one here is training, and we've broken that down into focus points now, okay? So we have train early. That might mean get off your ass, get out of bed, get moving, okay? Stick to the plan. Whatever the coach programs or whatever the program says, you stick to it, okay? Quality over quantity, okay? To stop those people that are over trainers that love to cram things in just because they feel like they should. Listen to the coach or follow the program. Biggest one, trust your coach. If you're paying someone to get you to where you need to be, accountability, guys. They owe it to you to get you there, okay? And then last one, one of my favorites, if and doubt, less is more, okay? So if you start to push into flat spots in training, Remember, training is for tomorrow or the goal, not today. Okay, so always keep that in your mind. Don't push too hard and you can't back up the next day. Okay, so through our fives here, the trick with the fives, you only work on one at a time. Okay, so quite possibly one of these ones would be your most uh, difficult to stick to. Let's choose um, train early. Okay, you might be one of those chronic sleep uh, people who sleep in just because you're lazy, you just don't want to get up. Okay, so you work on that focus point, one of the fives, until you master it. Once you do it, you cross it off. Okay, once you have established the habit, you cross it off. It gives you a sense that you're actually achieving something, and then we start to get that momentum rolling. Okay, trick with the uh, focus points in all three sections, you only are to work on one point per subcategory at any one time. Okay, so you're only working on three things until you master them and then you move on. So over the course of a program, you might be really slow on training, you might be staggering around, they're not being able to stick to the plan, but you might be knocking out your nutrition out of the park. You might knock all those fives off one after the other, finished, done, no problem. Okay, so once we start to break this down, it A, shows you how committed you really are, because once you see the difficult stuff that you have to do, you might go, oh, maybe that's not for me. Maybe you might set more realistic goals. And B, it gives you small portions to achieve before we push up to that big main goal. Because honestly, you're gonna fail if you don't fill in this little section and actually focus on your weaknesses. There you go, you guys, one, three, five formula. 
use it in anything, business, training, lifestyle, see how you go. Thanks very much.